Hey there! Many applications include generated files under folders such as vendor, not modules, or open API data models or schemas. You should not edit those files manually. But does everyone know they shouldn't edit those files manually? Sadly, no. Does something prevent you from changing the files manually? Like I'm doing right now? Also, no. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem at the editor level. Let's get started. Press down Control and Comma to open the settings and search for Read Only Include. Then click the Add Pattern button. And um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I would like to block the editing of all the files under the vendor and node modules folders. So I'm going with vendor forward slash double asterisks or double wildcard. And I'm going to do the same for the node modules folder. Ah, and by the way, the double wildcard means that it recursively matches zero or more directories that fall under the current directory. So basically, all the files within all modules and a vendor. So let's go back to our files. And as you can see, here we have the lock icon, meaning that I shouldn't be able to change this file. So let's try it out. And yes, indeed, I'm getting this editor is read-only message. Let's also try out the file from the node module. Yep, it doesn't allow me. And here we have the lock icon. All right, that was it. If you enjoyed this video, go check out my VS Code playlist for more tutorials. Wishing you a wonderful day, and I look forward to catching you in the next one.